Welcome to Number Success, a practical math program hosted by the award-winning author, educator, and successful businessman, Carl Summer. In this program, you will travel with Carl as he shows you how to solve problems in the world around you. From New York to L.A., Chicago to Houston, Carl will take you on location and teach math you can use. Whether sightseeing, cruising, fishing, cooking, shopping, or more, you'll want to fasten your seatbelt. This journey through math will take you to hundreds of places on one exciting ride. Joining Carl to provide instructional support are four outstanding teachers who have each won the prestigious National Science Foundation Presidential Award for Excellence in Mathematics. Your instructors are Denise Grapaldi, Christine Lindeblad, Larry Williams, and Jimmy Rios. Here now is your host, author Carl Summer. Welcome to the world of trigonometry. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with relationship and measurements of sides and angles of triangles. It has many practical applications in such fields as engineering, astronomy, surveying, navigation, drafting, machining, and other fields. You must have a scientific calculator. Once you become acquainted with a scientific calculator, you will quickly realize the tremendous time saver it is when calculating trigonometry problems. Solar power scientific calculators that operate without a battery are available. The calculator should have sine, notice, sine, a cosine button, and a tangent button. Try to get a calculator that shows a sign in the display when the inverse button is pushed. And that's this one. Now this calculator is a second. The window over here, you will see that second over there. Click it again, it goes away. On page 6 to 12 are formulas for finding angles and sides of both right and oblique triangles. And these are the pages that I have on this board. And here we're finding angles and sides of right triangles. And here's the formulas using sine, cosine, and tangent with a scientific calculator. Solutions for right triangles, converting minutes and seconds, finding sides, angles, and area for oblique triangles, and solutions for oblique triangles. Let's take a look at a practical application of trigonometry with Captain Rick Freeman of Southwest Airlines. Hi, my name is Rick Freeman. You're the captain? I'm the captain for Southwest Airlines. Been here 19 years. What kind of a math do you use in flying this plane? Because it's an airplane, we use a lot of lateral nav, which you would think of in a, in a term like with a car, but because we do fly, we have to think about vertical nav also. You use a lot of trigonometry? We use trig. Yeah, I used a lot of it when I was in an Navy flying fighter, same kind of thing. Bad guys at uh, uh, 20,000 feet, 20 miles, you know what your altitude is, where do you start looking? The other thing you use trig for is if you get a crossing restriction, let's say we're uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Say at 31,000 feet, we're 50 uh, miles from a fix, we have to cross the fix okay. at 10,000 feet. So I've got to got got figure my airspeed, ground speed, the distance I've got, how much vertical I've got to go down. And how can I do that to be there at the right altitude at the right time? You can see that trigonometry is extremely important for pilots to fly their planes. Let's look at another practical application in the machine shop with Inspector Howard Sheffield at Knust SBS. Howard is an inspector here in this machine shop, Knust SBS, and he's going to explain a little bit some of the types of work that he does and the math that he uses. Howard, what do you have over here? Well, we've got a um, upper block. It's a point we make for one of our customers. We do use some trig. Uh, most of the trig we use here is to figure out where an intersecting uh, diameter may come into the part. Maybe we could take just a look at this drawing over here. Why don't you explain a little bit? What are the red marks for? Well, the red marks was just uh, me highlighting some points such as sectional views because this is a main view. This is our section AA. Uh -huh. It shows a lot of features here. But in order to pick up other features on the, on, on the uh, drawing, we'll have to go to a section of view such as section EE. Now, here's the location here that we might spend some time on some trig functions on it. This is you where have these small diameters here inside that port. Yes. And, uh, it's and this is a used trig. We'll use some trig. 
This is what the part looks like that is being inspected. Now you've just seen a few practical applications. There's many, many more. And remember, math is more than getting the right answer. You should understand logically what you are doing. We're teaching you principles of trigonometry. And if you understand the logic of these principles, you'll be able to apply your math skills to other unknown problems that require similar methods. We couldn't possibly teach you the thousands of applications for trigonometry. What we are trying to do is that we are teaching you the basic principles of trigonometry so that you can apply the principles to your problems. So when you do these lessons, just don't memorize. Think of what you are doing. If you understand the logic of what you are learning, it will help you solve many problems. In unit one of number success trigonometry, you'll be learning about right angle triangles. Now open up your workbook and get ready for this exciting trip of learning practical mathematics with your award-winning teacher, Jimmy Rio.